My tiny house is built and designed extremely unconventional. I realized that I I haven't done like a lot of like tiny house content. Like I, I've done, obviously I built this whole thing for a whole year, but I haven't done like a lot of content of me being in it and living in it. Look at a lot of my comments. I probably check 80, 90% of my comments. I try and check them as, as often as I can. Read over a whole bunch where people uh, will see the tiny house and they'll just say like, where's all your storage? The storage thing has come up multiple occasions. So. I'm gonna show everybody where some of my storage is and I'm going to do a full tour of my tiny house. I'm actually editing uh, the complete build from beginning to end in one video and I'm gonna to try to keep it under 30 minutes. Doing that as well as the full tour. This video is gonna be cool because I'm gonna talk about the design concept of it and you might only be able to see, but I have one cooking apparatus and I'm gonna show you another one where another one is, but uh, that's my main cooking apparatus right down there. So we're gonna get into how beneficial that is. And it's just in time for Black Friday because I think that's actually going on sale. I don't get any kickback from that. I just wanted to show a really good product that does really cool stuff. For all the people out there, all the haters, right? Where is all of your storage? Where do you keep your clothes? That's what I should say. Where do you keep all your clothes? Because a lot of people are like, where do you keep your clothes? I wanna say about 11 feet of counter space. And I designed the tiny house to be like, obviously, as compact as possible, 24 foot length tiny house. And I fit a bedroom, a living room, a kitchen, a bathroom with a washer dryer in it. I wanted 24 feet because I wanted it to have mobility. You know, the flex room up there, which is, I was gonna make it into a theater room and I still will probably do that. However, it's just a, really just a bunch of stuff where I throw stuff sometimes. I, an, an office space. So, so all of those things I was really like, okay, I need to fit them all in here. Not only do I need to fit it all in here, but I also was like, okay, need to have everything like functional. And I need to have everything like this for a reason. I am putting these drawers here. Then yes, you have to get a little creative when it comes to incorporating kitchen, you know, sitting area for, you know, eating, or obviously a seating area for, you know, living room, my bed uh, that stows away, which is a Murphy bed. All of these things you have to kind of think about. Now, where do I put all my clothes? Well, this from like where I'm standing right now back is bedroom and living room space. Obviously when the bed is down and I will show that in some B-roll right now, the bed is down, it is night mode. And I actually learned separating that from actually my second van, which I had a Murphy bed in. When you put the bed down, you are in like a bedroom mode. Your work is done for the day. It's kind of like having a separate room, but in one space, having that Murphy bed. And that's why I did that. That's why I, that's why I wanted to incorporate. That's why I made that into a Murphy bed because literally just that little simple thing is a like, space separator. I don't know if it's a subconscious thing or not, but that's what it does. And it does it so well that even when I put the bed down, she knows it's bedtime. She knows when that bed comes down, and that's why I'm not, I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't wanna trick her to think like she's going to bed right now because I'm actually about to head out to the gym and then second half of the video, I'm gonna cook some steak for everybody. You separate space in an open floor plan like I have here. I have an open floor plan and it's a compact open floor plan. My tiny house is built and designed extremely unconventional. Most tiny houses are built to be like, all right, you are going to buy all of your own furniture. You're going to put in, you know, tables and chairs and whatever. In my case, I had a built-in put in. The Murphy beds are built in. Everything in here is a built-in, right? The reason this is where it is is because I have two massive batteries put down in here. Two batteries is what's running my entire house right now. A lot of this under bench space is reserved for the batteries. The rest of it is all of my clothes storage. So I have like socks and underwear in here. Oops, you guys can't see that. And I made everything as a push to open. Now this is not a push to open because it's actually where I put my uh, my air, my part of my air conditioner. So the evaporator is up there and then the air conditioner is actually down in here. This is a push to open drawer. Uh, that's actually camera equipment. Push to open drawer, a lot of clothes in here. That one's actually pretty heavy because I have a lot of clothes in there. So we're gonna open that one up. Okay. 
push the open drawer right there. Now, I knew I was gonna be putting a, my camera is freaking heavy. <laughs> I knew I was gonna put a ladder right here, so I did not make this bottom section into a push to open. Instead, I made it into an upper latch because when I was designing everything and I was like, okay, the ladder is gonna be stored here because I'm not always gonna be using the ladder to get up into my miniature loft for work and I'm not gonna be always having a ladder there. I was originally gonna have a library ladder on like a slider right there, but I, I figured why not use the ladder to use, get into both different lofts and then this was a perfect space for storage. It's out of the way, it's not impeding on any visual to my TV, it's not impeding any walk area. This is a 16 inch ladder. It just worked perfectly for everything I was trying to do. And that was not a happy accident. That was designed by me. 90% of my clothing is underneath these benches. Now, when I originally designed this, this was going to be closet for hanging clothes. But after talking to the person that did my original electrical install, which was Jason from Off Grid Solutions, he was like, that is a perfect place to put the electrical cabinet. So I have now the electrical cabinet in here and I can't put any clothes in there, obviously. I designed this in 11 and a half foot counter space and I reserved the last two feet, give or take, from here back into hanging clothes storage. So the side of this cabinet right here pops open and there's a whole bunch of hanging clothes. So now you guys will all understand that I have plenty of storage. I have all four season clothing in here. If there was a second person in here, then I would have to kind of make some changes uh, to how the things are stored. Um, but it is all, I have a lot of actually clothes for a, a single male. I'm sure I could make it work or I'd have to do a switch out so I wouldn't be able to pack all four seasons in here. Spring and summer, and then you kind of rotate it if I have like a storage unit or something, if there was a second person in here. But, 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 I have all of this space up here, so I could technically make something or put, I do have a storage bin up there, and that's, you know, for up there, but I could actually add more of storage just for um, clothing, if need be, for a second person in here, if need be. The rest of all of this is all just, you know, storage for, for kitchen and whatnot. And actually my second cooking apparatus is actually down in here as well. That is a portable induction cooktop. I'm gonna go to the gym, get a nice workout in. I'm also gonna take her out first because I think she wants to go out. Uh, but we are going to cook a phenomenal steak and we're gonna show the Bravo oven off and all of its goodies when I get back because I'm gonna want some dinner. Okay, everybody, I am back from the gymnasium, the gymnasium, to uh, make some dinner. I've got some uh, filet and, uh, and I got some broccoli in a bag. Kind of doing this a little simple. I could just microwave this bag of broccoli, but um, I want to cook it because it makes a better effect. The cool thing about this Brava here, I think what I'm told, there are eight or 9,000 pre-programmed recipes in here. So you can just like do a search on pretty much anything, pick like cook, and then you can just pick whatever the heck you want. And there's recipes for literally everything on here. <clears throat> now, again, I am not sponsored by them. They're not paying me for this. I just like to show good products that you know, I like to use. If I am getting sponsored by something, I will tell you guys, I, this is sponsored by such and such person, but I've been using them for years. I've met a lot of the team members there uh, at the events that I go to. This is their new glass, by the way, and we're gonna show it in full effect here in a second. Why it's also nice is I am not that intelligent when it comes to cooking, so it's nice to be like, this is like cooking for dummies. You are a Trader Joe's fan, which I am, but I don't have one around me. If you're a Trader Joe's fan, then they have a bunch of, I don't know how many, but they have a bunch of like pre-programmed Trader Joe's like stuff in here. So like Trader Joe's like potatoes or something, right? Like you can like click on that and boom, you can cook your Trader Joe's potato, whatever it is. Near Trader Joe's, I don't even know where my closest one is to me, where I am, but um, that might not, I might be near one in the future, maybe if I ever move my tiny house. Was that some foreshadowing? It might have been. Anyways, I'm going to prep all this now. Um, what's really cool about this particular cooking pan or 
cooking sheet that they have. They also have a bunch of different options. They have a glass one. They have a, like a bake tray if you want to do like cinnamon rolls. Yeah, big fan of that. It's all zone cooking. You can't, you can't really see, or maybe you can see. Yeah, I guess you can see. There's a little like indentation. Zone cooking, one, two, three zones. Meat and broccoli at the same time. Now I could actually cook three things at once. I could cook um, like meat, you know, broccoli, asparagus, and then I could also do like potatoes. I could do all three. Now I'll do a search for like filet, right? Where I'll just type in filet. There it is. Search, create a, this is hard to do because I got to look over the camera. Uh, create the filet combination. And I got the filet already selected. I can just scroll down and we're going to check some broccoli. Now I've got that and now I can go there. So now you have to go through all of these. And this is like where you like what I want it cooked at like and then this thing is really important. This is actually let me flip this back around. That little thing there is this thing right here, which is it regulates the temperature. It tells me what the temperature is. Now their old one that they had before this one came out, this is their Bluetooth version, which is sweet and I've actually tested it and used it. But this is a meat sensor before you have to plug it in. So I'm gonna do all this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some seasoning on my steak. I'm gonna get it all done. And then we're gonna take a look at, a la a look at it while it's cooking and we can see the benefits of having the glass, I guess. Okay, so you guys may have seen me cut up a little bit of the broccoli and I like to cut them a little short. I like to cut the stems off. I don't know, maybe I'm weird, I don't know. Um, but you can see that I went through all of the progression of everything um, and I set it to medium because that's how I like my uh, steak cooked. And then this tells you to place the tray on the top part of, uh, they have a upper part and a lower part. And then from there, I am good to go. So let's get that show on the road oh boy oh boy oh boy i forgot to put the thickness now you can i'll show uh that that temp sensor has like a thickness level on it and you just actually show what the thickness is i guess i didn't do that but before i can put that hit the little green button down here it makes me go back and do that idiot proof machines that i just absolutely love and as you can see i designed my kitchen to actually hold this in place now some people might get on me and i'm sorry brava but brava usually says that the, you need like a few inches of space around it now if you look i'm pretty uptight around the corners here however i have a lot of clearance in the back and i also have um uh, vents going through the back of my of my cabinetry in the back so there's a lot of room back there to uh have anything exhaust is my point all right let's hit this and see what happens in my last video i showed my electrical kind of being oh this is cool by the way hold on that is a camera on the inside that is showing the cooking of it and we will actually show the, the glass doing its thing. So it gives it a little light show. My last video, I did a, an electrical upgrade. If, if my old inverter was on in there still right now, and I hit that green button, you would hear a, not like a, it was just like, like the inverter would be turning on. Like if you've ever heard an inverter turn on, right? You probably, like my mic is on me right now, but you would you would definitely hear a fan just roaring right now. With the new Victron inverter, there is no fan that is just crazy loud right now. Um, it is I'm, oh, such a game changer in regards to, what, oh, just so amazing. It says cook time is anywhere between 10 to 18 minutes. It's probably gonna be right around 15 minutes if I had to guess. We'll come back and we're gonna see how the cook, how the steak comes and I'm gonna get ready for dinner. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome, I think. It is uh, done now. I've got this fancy glove that I got. And honestly, I'm a lot, I'm very impressed with it to be quite honest with you because I thought it was an oven mitt glove and it's not. I'm gonna take it out. That looks pretty darn good to me. And I guess I've also forgot to mention that there is an app. There's a Brava app that you can actually watch your food being cooked if you are walking away from it. So we are going to take out the temp sensor. 
I have the glove on because the temp sensor is hot. Obviously, it was just in an oven for however long. All right, so let's cut into this so you guys can see that, and then I'm going to go eat because I am starving. This is like a nice filet. I don't know if you guys can see that steam coming off of that, but it is looking delicious. I'm going to move the crate a little closer here so you guys can see, but I am excited. I'm sorry for all you vegans out there. Uh, sorry, not sorry, but I'm going to go enjoy my meal because this looks delicious. Obviously, go check out, you know, Brava if you guys want your own. Again, not sponsored by them whatsoever. Um, I have, this is my second Brava. That's how much I like them so much. The whole point of this video is like, tiny home efficiency and tiny home design and layout and to minimize you know an oven is essential it's perfect for tiny house living in my opinion the brava is just absolutely perfect for tiny house living because of the compact nature of it now do i still use my cooktop yes i do all right enough ranting and raving out of me guys stay tuned for a lot of upcoming uh really cool stuff I'm going, I'm flying to California soon. I am doing a uh, really cool video. I don't want to tell you guys too much about what is happening, but I guess stay tuned because I'm going to be vlogging that and there's going to be some tours and everything else. So I'll see you guys next time. Later.